Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineers Tech Up channel. So in this video, we will discuss Genpack client drone interview question for automation test engineer to two to five years of experience. So one of my students share this question and which is asked in the Genpack client drone. Okay, so we will go through that all the questions and just be a stay, a stay with me. End of the video, I will also share with you how to get the proper answer. So it will be a helpful for you guys. So let's move in the first question. So first question is, tell me about your roles, experience and current project. So I have already made a many top level of the interview question and this is the common question, right? Your roles, your experience and your project. So just they are looking your experience and your roles and responsibility as per his requirement, they will hire to you, right? So your roles you have to explain, like you have to make the resume as per the company requirement, like some of, some of the looking for more experience in automation, then you can put more experience. Some of the companies are looking for more manual things in uh, projects. So as per the project requirement, you have to tell before attending the interview, you have to ask to the HR, what is your requirement? As per the requirement, you can, uh, you know, speak. That is the more beneficial for you guys, okay? So second question is, what is HDLC and STLC? So HDLC means software development life cycle and STLC means software testing life cycle. So just I will explain some phases of software development life cycle. In software development life cycle, we having the six phases, requirement or initial phase, analysis phase, designing phase, coding phase, testing phase, delivery and maintenance phase. So in this video, I'm not going to give you the exact complete answer. So just I have given some overview. I have already the playlist for the complete answer for DLC and STLC. So you will get in my playlist. So I, we have already that playlist in my YouTube channel. So this is the another question. This is the second question. Third question is, what is the defect life cycle? So these are the, you know, common questions. So defect, first we have to understand what is the defect. A defect is a variation or deviation from original business requirement when a tester executes the test cases, right? Actual and expected will not match means this is your defect. That's it. So we have uh, some defect life cycle. So just I will give you some phases of the defect life cycle. So first phase is like, uh, you know, new. When, when you will raise the fresh defect then a status is new. Then you have to assign. You are going to assign to some developer, right? Then a status will be assigned. Then what happened whenever developer accept, so developer will go through that defect and they will check this is the defect or not. Then it will accept then a status is open. Once developer will fix the code, code, right? Once the defect is rectified or developer will set the status is fixed. So what will happen? Developer has uh, fixed. Then again, it will come retest. After you know fixing the defect, you have to retest, right? Then a status is retest or available for testing. Then verified the tester uh, retest the defect or bug after got the fix by developer. If there is no bug or detector in, if you are doing the retest, if you will not get any defect, then it is a verified. If you have retested, then the, some defect is already available or you have done some regression and you are finding another defect, then a status is reopened. Everything will find fixed, then we can close. Duplicate might be some defect is already there and you have to, you have already raised same defect, right? That is called your duplicate. Reject means developer has verified and as per the developer, they have rejected your defect. Might be we having the some different issue, but you have raised that defect, but that is, you know, that is not a defect that uh, rejected by the developer. If they will reject the defect, they will give you the clarification why they have rejected. Defred. Defred means if 
present defect is not a prime priority and if it is expected to get fixed in the next release some of the enhancements are going to there and that release will come in your uh, sorry that uh, functionality will come in your next release so that is called your deferred status not a bug so we having the another if it does not affect the functionality of the application then a, a status assigned to a uh, bug is a bug means it is a not a bug so this is your defect life cycle and this is very important so what is defect life cycle what types of the testing you have done that is the important question okay so what type of the testing you have done here so i have done many types of the testing uh, sanity testing a smoke testing functional testing regression testing so whatever you have done you can explain so what is the functional uh, testing and regression testing okay so functional testing means like we are going to test the functionality like we have a fresh build and you are going to test each functionality of home home page right but regression means what will happen in the next release they have added some new features in the home module or in module right so you have to test new features with existing features means you have to test you know whatever the new features is added it is working fine or not if old features are there it should not impact so you have to test whole you know whatever the changes is there and whatever the existing features be there that is called your regression testing how to debug from the jenkins so when you will execute your job right we having the one jenkins console from there you will get some error and also from there we can find you know uh, what the error, error we are coming on the jenkins console and accordingly we can fix our jenkins uh, issue how to test the google search bar so just they pick some uh, scenario and they want to test it so you can make it the multiple scenario for the google search bar so this is your assignment you can just write some test cases and all for google search bar another question is can you explain your framework so i have already made the many video of the framework please follow my playlist okay and i have explained how to represent in your uh, you know in the interview now how to raise the defect so this is a very uh, uh, simple question and if you are working or if you are not working you should learn jira you know one test management tool then famous is your jira to so many companies are using the jira so please if you are not aware what is the jira and all in the youtube we having the many tutorials just go and learn it how to raise the defect how to create a test cases how to execute the test cases many features are there in the jira please go and learn it so this is the genpack client route interview question okay so i told you the end of the video i will tell you how to get the answer for this all so you can just go in my youtube channel my youtube channel name is engineers tech hub just go and you can see here we have a playlist so we having the manual tutorial as well so here you will get all the answer as well i have created uh, some real time interview question and answer like this is the common uh, question and answer for the real time so here you will get it here uh, what you will get you know i ex how to explain your framework what is your day to day activity what is your automation uh, rules and responsibility what is your manual rules, rules and responsibility please go through this playlist that this is the very helpful for you guys what the challenges you have faced in your project what the challenges you have faced in your automation project what the challenges you have faced in your manual project so all the things you i have shared in this playlist apart from that i am making the series of top level of the mnc interview question and answer so you can go through this you can see here here you will get complete play, complete playlist for interview question and answer so you can see here we have a oracle dash technology itc infotex uh, dvs you know adp so please go through that you will get more idea if you are attending the interview as automation test engineer 
and uh, so that's all in this video and see you in the next video please share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon see you in the next video thank you going to stop now